Hi folks, good morning. In this video, we'll talk about how we integrate uh, Adobe with ODI. ODI providing lots of uh, IKM which will be used to integrate uh, Adobe. So, before uh, jumping on the actual uh, uh, Hadoop integration with ODI, first we'll try to understand what is Hadoop and what is the importance of Hadoop. So, if we, if we go with Hadoop, so Apache Hadoop is a collection of open source software utilities that facilitate using a network of many computers to solve problems involving massive amount of data and computer computation so here basically Hadoop is used to uh, deal with big data and huge amount of data like uh, semi structured structure and uh, all kind of uh, data it will it can be it can be used to store it also provides software framework for distributed storage and processing of big data using map reduce programming model and uh, now why Hadoop is uh, important uh, what all the benefit we have uh, using Hadoop and uh, why we why Hadoop is coming in the market so first uh, point is ability to store and process huge amount of any kind of data so here any kind of data which means like uh, uh, it will it can store either semi structured structure relational non is uh, data with data volume and varieties constantly including especially from social media and the internet of things that's the key consideration of this Hadoop and now we'll have second point is computing power Hadoop distributed computing model process with data fast the more computing nodes you use the more processing power you have fault tolerance so that Hadoop will have uh, more fault, fault tolerance data and application processing are protected against the hardware failure if a node goes down, job are automatically redirected to the other node to make sure that distributed computing do, does not fail. Multiple copies of all data are stored automatically. Flexibility, unlike real, traditional restaurant data, you don't have to reprocess data before storing it. You can store as much as you want to decide how to use it later. That includes unstructured data like images, stores, and videos. Low cost. Now, this is another. Uh, very good use case of uh, using Hadoop. So the open source framework is free and use com commodity hardware to store large quantities of data scalability. You can easily grow your system to handle more data simply by adding nodes. Little administrator uh, administrator is required. So these are the uh, uh, benefit of using Hadoop and why it is important because divided data is getting increased and uh, storing those kind of data is becoming a more uh, problematic to handle the data now let's uh, talk about uh, uh, what basically we have uh, in ODI to integrate the Hadoop so in ODI it will see uh, ODI 11 it will see application adapter for Hadoop connectivity, it works for both uh, Windows and Linux installed ODI and uh, we have a couple of uh, IKM and uh, RKM and CKM which will be used to integrate Hadoop with ODI. First is IKM file to hive load data. Second is IKM hive control append. Third is uh, IKM hive transform. Fourth is IKM file have to control. Uh, to Oracle CKM Hive and RKM Hive. CKM Hive is just to use to uh, do the check uh, uh, while uh, while we load data into the uh, Hive tables. And RKM Hive will be used to reverse engineering the uh, Hive tables, which is present at uh, Hadoop. So if you see this screen, it will have the uh, Hadoop uh, as a source where we have a uh, couple of uh, I mean systems integrated from Hadoop to ODI and the here map reduce will be used to I mean uh, uh, which will be there at Hadoop level which will be used to integrate with ODI support Hadoop standards easy to configure UI for generating map reduce and once uh, we'll have the ODI it can simply load into either in ODI uh, 
either into Oracle database or any other database by using these IKMs. So let's talk about uh, how we'll uh, integrate the uh, file to Hive tables. So first IKM will uh, go with first IKM file to Hive data load IKM which will load incoming files to Hive tables. So source can be local files or SDFS here or local data load data from files to Hive tables. So here if you see this is how we are going to integrate. Uh, we want to integrate lo uh, local files or SDFS files to Hive tables. So uh, before going to mapping level, we first need to uh, bring the um, tables or files into ODI model. So first let's uh, create uh, and set up the topology respective to the uh, file and then Hive technology. So first we'll go to the file technology and set up the in physical and logical connection so here as DFS data server defined using generic file technology itself so you need to go to topology section and uh, then you have to go to file and uh, right click on that and then click on the new data server uh, write the name of data server whichever you want you can keep it now you can go to JDBC connection and uh, put the uh, JDBC connection of as Put the JDBC URL as a SDFS URL, which will be used for the local SDFS file. Uh, once you do that, you now uh, now you can go to the uh, definition tab, and uh, here you can put the schema and working schema. So here you need to um, basically put the actual path where the file residing. So to access the directory, set physical schema to parent directory. So you need to set here parent directory and then you have to give the resource name while you are going for the reverse engineering you need to go and give the resource name or the file name which you want to reverse engineering into the model as seen in the screen here. And here uh, there is one thing that uh, because you are uh, here we are treating with the file so you cannot use the test button, button, test button to use the uh, to test the connections. Now we'll go for the Hive uh, topology setup. So in, to set up the Hive, uh, Hive topology, you need to uh, go to topology section again and then you need to click on Hive and click on the new data server. Once you click on the new data server, it will ask for the, you, you can enter the name uh, name of the data server, then you can enter the um, Hadoop uh, Hive uh, JDBC URL and all. And also you need to have uh, Uh, you need to use the latest Hive server, Hive server 2 rather than Hive server because uh, in the latest uh, version of Hadoop it will be used uh, Hive server 2. Use the and also you need to maintain to use use correct JDBC URL format. And uh, once you have set up the lo uh, logical and physical topology, then you now you can reverse engineering the model uh, tables into the ODI level so you simply you, you have to use RKM Hive to reverse engineering the columns definition from Hive and the similarly for file you have to do once model have been created now you can create the mapping using the uh, using the source and target so here we have used source in the screen here we have used source as a uh, file and target as a Hive table so you, you can map your file with your target data like uh, with uh, whichever attribute you want to map your source and target and then you can go to logical and physical and select the uh, IKM as a IKM file to Hive uh, to Hive and uh, once you you will have this uh, mapping created you can save it and now you can right click and execute so there is one more thing which you need to do like uh, uh, external table option chosen in IKM file to Hive as Bloom will continue writing to it until source log rotate you have to select this option and also you can view the data load uh, by clicking on the model to view the data how how what data get loaded into your Hive tables so this is simple mapping where we have uh, used source as external files or as DFS files and the target is a Hive table and they created a mapping so it's pretty simple of using Hadoop integrating Hadoop with ODI and in
in our next video we'll talk about how we'll have uh, how will uh, other icam will be used to uh, integrate uh, from hadoop to oracle or oracle to hadoop and there are a couple of integration like icam hive control up and icam hive transform icam file add to oracle so we'll talk about in our next uh, slide or next video uh, thank you guys